engineering of the Hoover Dam. The Hoover Dam is made of nearly 4.5 million cubic yards of concrete. It took a team of construction workers over a year to complete the structure. The concrete used was enough to pave a road from San Francisco to New York City. The structure also produces almost a million tourists each year. The largest man-made lake in the United States, Glen Canyon Lake, is held back by the dam. The Hoover Dam was designed to control flooding in the Colorado River. The dam also supplies water and power to the southwest. The water comes from a 30-foot, 9.1 meters, diameter Nevada penstock, which delivers water to the turbine. The structure also has spillways designed to allow floodwaters to pass without harming the dam. The spillways also handle Niagara Falls water volume. The Hoover Dam was the tallest structure in the world when it was finished in 1935. It was also the largest man-made lake in the world for decades. The reservoir holds back the Colorado River and provides water to irrigate farm fields. The dam was also responsible for 600 small earthquakes in the late 1930s. The Hoover Dam was a symbol of American industry during the Great Depression. Its construction cost $49 million. The project took six companies almost six years to finish. The dam was closed to visitors until 1945. The dam was the first of its kind. It was designed to be the tallest dam in the world. The dam's largest reservoir was the largest artificial lake in the United States for decades. The project also involved a number of technical and scientific feats. The Hoover Dam was built using concrete. A thin cement soup was pumped into spaces, wedged between canyon walls, and set. It took hours to pour each slab of concrete. Number of Fatalities During Construction During the construction of the Hoover Dam, there were dozens of worker deaths. While the official numbers say 96 deaths, some sources claim there were up to 112. Some historians say these deaths were caused by carbon monoxide poisoning in the construction tunnels. The Hoover Dam was constructed between 1931 and 1936. The Hoover Dam is a concrete structure that holds back the Colorado River. It is 1,244 feet long, 726 feet tall, and 660 feet thick. It is made up of thousands of cubic yards of concrete and slabs that hold the river back. Each slab took hours to set. Construction of the Hoover Dam was accomplished with the help of a consortium of construction firms. The consortium was called Six Companies Incorporated, they hired about 21,000 men to complete the project. The average man's hourly wage was 50 cents to $1.25 hourly. Construction of the Hoover Dam was a grueling and dangerous endeavor. The most famous of these accidents occurred in 1932 when the intake tower collapsed, killing Patrick W. Tierney, a geological surveyor for the Bureau of Reclamation. Aside from the obvious fall, another major death occurred when one of the surveyors fell into the river while surveying. Other deaths were caused by dynamite blasts and rock slides. It is also said that some workers are buried in the concrete facade of the dam. The Hoover Dam is a world-renowned structure that supplies water to over 30 million people. It is also a popular tourist destination. The dam was also responsible for 600 small earthquakes over a decade after construction began. However, the number of fatalities is relatively low compared to other similar projects. The first fatality occurred eight years before the dam was approved. The Hoover Dam is a world-renowned project that has helped shape the Southwest. It is estimated that the dam irrigates $1.5 billion in crops each year. The number of fatalities during the Hoover Dam construction is not as high as the death toll of the Transcontinental Railroad. The Burma-Siam Railway also suffered from a massive number of worker deaths. However, the Hoover Dam is not the only construction project that suffered from a high death toll. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Designed by Gordon Kaufman during the construction of Hoover Dam, many workers were killed. Some died in explosions, while others were struck by machinery or falling debris. Some workers died from carbon monoxide poisoning. The Bureau of Reclamation estimated that about 112 people died while building the Hoover Dam. The six companies, a group of independent contractors, worked on the dam. Frank Crow, the project superintendent, was responsible for overseeing the construction. He pushed the crews to keep up a furious pace. 
His efforts enabled the dam to be completed two years ahead of schedule. The original plans for Hoover Dam began in 1921. The first stage of construction involved blasting the walls of the canyon. This was followed by the construction of a bridge downriver of the dam. In addition, 528 miles of one-inch steel pipes were installed. During the construction of Hoover Dam, some workers were killed, while others suffered terrible work conditions. These conditions led to unrest at the job site. The workers wanted to have clean, clear water. They also wanted to have access to electrical lines. Construction was completed in 1935. The Hoover Dam was opened to the public the next year. In 1953, a total of 448,081 visitors came to the dam. The dam still provides electric power and flood control. The dam is also a reservoir for Lake Mead, which stretches 35 miles up the Virgin River. The reservoir covers 157,900 acres. It has a storage capacity of about 35,000 million acre feet. The lake is 500 feet deep. Its maximum width is 8 miles. The lake provides water to about 18 million people in the southwest United States. The lake is also home to a variety of fish and wildlife. The dam has a design by Gordon B. Kaufman, a London-born architect. He added Art Deco touches, as well as bar-leaf sculptures and decorations inspired by Native American tribes. Hoover Dam is part of the Bureau of Reclamation's multi-purpose projects, which control flooding and provide hydroelectric power. A new visitor's center opened in 1995. There are 17 turbines that generate 2 billion watts of electricity. External Diversion Tunnels During construction of the Hoover Dam, 96 workers died. This number includes deaths during the construction and incidents before the dam was authorized. However, some sources cite a higher number, as many as 112 deaths. It is unclear whether or not suicides were a factor in these deaths. The Bureau of Reclamation refuses to speak publicly on the issue. However, a representative said there were 35 suicides from 1962 to 2010. The dam was built during the Great Depression. Many of the workers were on strike in 1961. Some of the construction workers demanded that they have access to clean water and flush toilets. During construction, the air was so polluted that it was difficult to breathe. Many workers were injured and some were electrocuted. The first fatality was the death of a surveyor named J.G. Tierney. He fell while trying to find the perfect spot for the dam. He died in December 1935. His widowed mother was scheduled to arrive in Boulder City on Christmas Eve. Two other government employees died while working on the dam. One died in a cableway accident. Another fell into the Colorado River while conducting geological surveys. These incidents are not included in the official death count. There were also a number of deaths related to heat stroke and drowning. The average daily temperature in southern Nevada was over 120 degrees during construction. There were also 26 construction workers who were struck by falling debris. A number of workers were struck by machinery. One man was 320 feet above the intake tower when he fell. His body recovered several hours later. Another man fell into the Colorado River while surveying the dam site. In addition, one man died in an elevator accident. Other references describe incidents that involve falling boulders or rocks. There were also several accidents that were not related to the construction. A number of workers were electrocuted, and a number of workers were struck by falling equipment. There were also incidents of falling canyon walls. Other deaths include those associated with truck accidents and falling slides. Some references state that the number of industrial fatalities are higher than those associated with construction. Please like, share and subscribe as it helps us produce quality videos for you to enjoy. Thanks for watching.